Why do we elect people to government who don't believe in government? Check this out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Is it time to stop letting Republicans run government? Because obviously they don't believe in government. Why are we letting them run government? Why do we elect these people who don't believe in government to run the government? It's, it, it's, like, it's like hiring a, uh, a chiropractor who doesn't believe in pharmaceuticals, and there are some. There's a lot of chiropractors who are great. I, you know, I've used chiropractors since I was, uh, you know, since I broke my back when I was 19 or 20 years old. Um, but, you know, I've run across a few who are like, oh, you shouldn't take drugs, just take vitamin C. Uh, it's like hiring one of those people to be in charge of your cancer treatment or your brain surgery. It's, it, it's, like, it's like hiring somebody who thinks the, the earth is flat to design the space program. It's, it's like, I mean, you know, come up with your metaphor. I didn't mean to pick on chiropractors. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but you get what I'm saying. Why, why, tell me, why are we hiring people? Why are we voting for people for our city council, for our county commissioners, for our local sheriffs, for our state legislatures, for our governorships, for our senators, for our members of the House, for president? Why are we hiring people who don't believe in government to run the government? I mean, isn't it obvious now what happens? 40 years of Reaganism, 40 years of hate government Republicans. We have gutted the middle class. We're in the midst of, of, of what's going to be the, the, the second Republican Great Depression in 100 years. We've got people dying. We've, we, we have lost more people in three months than we lost in the entire Vietnam War, than the entire Korean War. We've lost three times as many people as we lost in the entire Revolutionary War. It's insane. So anyhow, I was telling you about Australia and New Zealand. Uh, in Australia, from the beginning, from back in January when the first deaths started happening, Australia has had 97 people die. The whole country. You know, here in Oregon, we've had, I think it's 120 some odd die. The entire country, and we're doing really good. We had like 50, 60 new cases yesterday, statewide. Governor Kate Brown has crushed this virus so far, knock on wood. I feel safe here. Well, it's even better in Australia. The whole damn country, 97 deaths over three months. They have broken the back of the virus. In New Zealand, they've only had 21 deaths. The whole country, their hospitals are not overwhelmed. Their people are not freaked out. They're reopening their economies. People are going back to the beaches and the stores. And Australia and New Zealand are talking about creating basically a giant free trade zone between the two of them, where their people can travel back and forth and their goods can travel back and forth. You know, the major source of tourism to New Zealand is actually Australians. So, hey, let's open it back up. They also want to extend this to some of the Pacific Island nations that have no cases. There are some island nations that have no cases, and there's, a, there's quite a few where they've done the same thing. They've broken the back of this, and it might eventually extend to Taiwan and South Korea. We need leadership of government that believes in and knows how to run good government. But instead, what do we have? We, what we have here is the Trump administration, where Donald Trump goes on TV and says, oh yeah, this drug I heard about on Fox News, this is wonderful. This is, uh, it's going to be very exciting. I think it could be a game changer. It could be a game changer. Very powerful. They're very powerful. End quote. So the Veterans Administration tried this out on a couple hundred veterans. The people who received the standard course of treatment, 11.4% of them died. The people who received the hydrochloroquine, 27.8% died. Then the Veterans Administration did another study. Again, the hydrochloroquine, 